Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com and in this video we are going to talk about the best home improvement credit cards. But before we do that, I would ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already and if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So we are going to look at the best home improvement credit cards, the cards for maybe everyday home improvement purchases or cards for bigger projects, uh, you know, with bigger price tags and sometimes those cards maybe one and the same. So there aren't a ton of credit cards on the market that offer uh, you know, enhanced rewards for home improvement. So we're really gonna have kind of a short list as far as that goes. But then we'll also talk about some other uh, credit cards that give you discounts or uh, you know special financing for your bigger home improvement projects as well. The number one card here in terms of sort of the everyday credit card that you might use for your home improvement purchases is the Bank of America Cash Rewards card. This is a card that gives you cash back in the form of 3% for one category of your choosing. So Bank of America has I don't know, six or seven categories that you could get 3% cash back in, and one of those categories is home improvement stores. So if you choose home improvement stores as your 3% category, then obviously you can get 3% on your home improvement purchases. This card also gives you 2% cash back on your uh, grocery and wholesale club purchases, 1% cash back on everything else with the card. And it also has a bonus that as of this video, uh, or at least a bonus you could get, as of this video, that bonus is $200 if you spend a thousand bucks with the card in the first three months of having it. Now, the thing that is nice about this card is I just said that you can choose home improvement and get your uh, 3% cash back there, but you also can switch off your uh, choice of 3% cash back categories on a monthly basis. So if you're going to do some home improvement purchases and you know you're going to have a bunch of them coming up, you can choose that 3% category for that particular month, but then you could switch it to another category like uh, gas or online purchases or one of the other uh, categories that they offer at that 3% range. One note here is that you have that 3% category and then you have the 2% on uh, grocery and wholesale club purchases that is on up to $2,500 per quarter on combined purchases in those categories. So if you spend over $2,500 in you know, the grocery and wholesale club and home improvement or whatever it might be over a calendar quarter after that, you're only going to get 1% uh, cash back. But that's a pretty decent um, that's a pretty decent ceiling there, but if you're doing a big home improvement project, that's something to uh, realize because if you use this for both the home improvement project and uh, groceries, you could hit that 2,500 even faster. So you might want to only focus on the home improvement to make sure you're maxing out that 3% reward. Now this next card is not a card that is uh, focused on home improvement. It's not a card that even always gives you a rebate on home improvement, but I'm bringing it up next because like I told you, there aren't that many cards that focus on home improvement. So as I'm making this video, the Chase Freedom Card has home improvement as one of the categories in which they are giving 5% cash back on your purchases in that category along with uh, grocery stores. So if you don't know how the Chase Freedom works, it is a card that gives you 5% cash back in certain categories that change. Each calendar quarter, Chase decides what those categories are and then they tell you and if you make purchases in those categories, you get 5% cash back on those or five points per dollar uh, technically and you're only gonna get one point or 1% back on everything else in any other category. So this is not a uh, card that is dedicated home improvement, but I bring it up here because of the fact that as I'm making this video, uh, home improvement is one of the categories that is giving the five points or 5% back on your home improvement purchases, and that is through June of 2019. This is not something that Chase uh, brings around all the time. In fact, when they announced that home improvement would be one of the categories, they said this is the first time it's been one of the categories since 2014. So there's a five year uh, span or thereabouts uh, since the last time they did this. So whether they'll bring this back in the future, it's hard to say. But as of now, if you're watching the video close to when it was actually made, then this may be something that works for you. Now, all the other cards that we are going to talk about are cards from a particular home improvement store or a particular store that has home improvement as a significant category versus cards that are sort of mass market cards that you could use 
uh, across home improvement stores. So we're going to start with the cards from the two big gorillas in the home improvement uh, market these super stores being Lowe's and Home Depot. Now if you have both in your market, Lowe's is probably the card that I would choose uh, first because the Lowe's credit cards give you 5% off of everything that you buy at Lowe's. Now there is a Lowe's consumer card that gives you, that is called the Lowe's Advantage card. It gives you 5% off your Lowe's purchases or you can choose to get 0% financing on larger purchases at Lowe's. There is also a Lowe's uh, Business American Express card that also gives you uh, 5% off of your Lowe's purchases, but then you can also use it other places where American Express is accepted and you can earn points in certain categories like dining and other things of that nature that are uh, you know a little higher than the 1% rate that you might expect, but you're only getting points on those and you can only use those points toward future Lowe's gift certificates or uh, American Express gift cards. So it's not quite as flexible as sort of a general uh, use American Express card or, or you know MasterCard or Visa might be, but still it is a uh, decent card obviously for the 5% off and then you can choose whether uh, you know those other rewards make sense for what you might want out of your credit card. Now the Home Depot credit cards leave me less enthused than the Lowe's credit cards. The Home Depot consumer card is basically a card that allows you to buy on credit and you can get special financing for larger purchases of $299 or more. So you can get a 0% interest rate uh, for six months on purchases of you know 300 bucks or more basically. And so that is okay, but one of the pieces that uh, to the puzzle here is the fact, and this is true of Lowe's and many of these other ones as well, is that when they offer you 0% financing, many times this is uh, deferred interest financing, which means you must pay it off within a certain period of time. In Home Depot's case, what I just mentioned, it would be six months. If you don't pay it off in six months, then you actually will get charged all the interest that would have been charged from the date of purchase at the credit card's regular interest rate and the Home Depot cards as well as many of these other cards don't have very good interest rates, usually uh, over 20%. So you wanna be very careful if you use the special financing at any of these cards uh, to make sure that you understand how it works and whether it's deferred interest or not deferred interest. So Home Depot has the 0% uh, for six months on certain purchases. If you have a, even bigger purchases, it is possible you would be offered financing that is a little different. It could be a 0% rate without the deferred uh, financing, or it could just be a 0% rate that lasts longer, uh, or it could be something else. So those are uh, you know, sort of all the possibilities with Home Depot with their regular credit card. Now, I would also bring up their project loan, which is technically not a credit card, but this is a uh, loan that Home Depot will also give you for much larger purchases. They will give you a 7.99% interest rate, and that is something that you uh, have to pay off over 84 months, so you have a very long time, seven years, to actually pay off those, or at least up to seven years to pay those off. And that can be for loans of up to $55,000, assuming that you have good enough credit that they would give you a loan of that amount. So obviously if you're doing sort of a major, I don't know, kitchen renovation or whatever, that's more when you would look at the project loan and it's not a 0% offer, but it's like an 8% offer, which is better than uh, you, know, you might get in a lot of other uh, circumstances. So that is sort of their secondary offering. And then they do have business cards, but there's not really anything interesting to talk about there. So not the greatest stuff from Home Depot, no rewards, no discount. There is some okay special financing, uh, but I like what Lowe's offers better. Now I'll mention a few other credit cards from home improvement chains that are either uh, regional or are a lot smaller than the uh, big two. Most of these are going to offer you know, the same kind of special financing where they're gonna give you a 0% rate or a smaller rate. Most of the time it's gonna be again that deferred interest where you better make sure you have paid off the full uh, purchase in time or you're gonna get socked with all the uh, interest from the date of purchase at a high interest rate. But some of those cards include the uh, Menards credit card. So if you are in an area where there are Menards stores, uh, Menard offers special financing through their credit card. There is the Tractor Supply Company. If you have any of those uh, stores in your area, again, they offer special financing on your larger purchases from their stores. True Value Hardware, if you have True Value in your area, they offer a Discover card that offers special financing or you can earn uh, points rewards 
toward future uh, true value purchases. So if that's interesting to you, that is, uh, that is available in those areas. Sutherlands, if you know what Sutherlands is and you have it in your area, they actually offer a 5% discount on purchases within those stores. Now, all the cards I just talked about are from stores that have physical locations that you can go to and make purchases. There is, of course, an online store that is a very significant home improvement retailer, and that is Amazon. So obviously Amazon is not only home improvement, but because Amazon sells everything, home improvement is one of the categories uh, that fits in here as well. So if you are an Amazon card holder or you are interested to be an Amazon card holder, you can get 5% back in rewards. If you are an Amazon Prime uh, card holder, if you go for the Amazon Prime Rewards Visa, or if you're not a Prime member, you can get the standard Amazon Rewards Visa and get 3% in rewards on your Amazon purchases. So again, obviously they're not a dedicated home improvement retailer, but since Amazon has so much and so much of pretty much everything, I think it's worth mentioning them in a home improvement credit card video. Finally, I mentioned that some of these credit cards offer special financing that gives you a 0% rate for a certain period of time on larger purchases. And then of course, I also mentioned that Many of them are deferred interest, meaning that you're gonna get socked with all the interest charges from the day of purchase at a high interest rate if you don't get all of the purchases completely paid off by the you know time frame that has been set up. So it's a little bit dangerous, those deferred interest plans. So if you're someone that does have a uh, you know larger purchase to make, what you might be better off doing than getting one of those cards and using their special financing is simply going after a standard market credit card that gives you a 0% rate on purchases for a long length of time. So I will tell you three credit cards, although there are many other cards on the market that are at least gonna give you 12 or 15 months, but I'm gonna tell you some that give you even more. The US Platinum, uh, US Bank Platinum, I should say, as of the making of this video, is giving 0% for 20 months on new purchases with that credit card. The uh, City Diamond Preferred gives 0% for 18 months, the Wells Fargo Platinum card is also giving 0% for 18 months. The Bank of America Cash Rewards card that I mentioned earlier, actually as of the making of this video again, is uh, offering 0% for 12 months on new purchases. So that's a card that offers you you know, a long time on new purchases if you are making a larger purchase and you could get the rewards. So you know, in terms of thinking about making those bigger purchases for home improvement, don't necessarily get swayed by the you know special financing that you might get offered by that home improvement store if you can find something on the general market that is actually going to uh, you know help you get away cheaper and not put you in a situation where you have that deferred interest uh, you know the cards I just talked about with these zero percent for 18 months or 15 months or whatever, those are cards that if even if you don't pay it off completely within that period, you're going to start getting charged uh, you know, at the card's regular interest rate, but you're not gonna get socked with all this interest uh, that you would have from the date of purchase, uh, you know, like the other cards work that are deferred interest. So that's often the better way to go. So that's it. Thank you for watching. As always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews and have personal finance news and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thanks for watching, bye.